Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Obsidian Order. So today we are going to be taking a small break away from the the base area because I need, I seriously need an income on the server because I keep spending all my diamonds and I seriously, yeah, I, I need, I need an income flow. So I ended up talking to Vid earlier and he said, yeah, it's a, it's a diamond, so I need to, I need, still need to get a diamond to Vid to say, hey, you know, here, here's your diamond. I'm, I'm taking this spot right here. But yeah, this is, this is our spot right here. And I've already dug out the area for the shop. So as you can see, we've got, you know, it's going to be, it's going to end up being a two, you know, two story shop. And we are going to be selling books. So let's go ahead. Let's see, where is, okay, there's my dark oak planks. And then we are going to need this and we're going to need this. So we can go ahead and kind of get started with this stuff. So this is, it's going to be a very like dark shop. Um, I'm doing everything pretty much in like dark wood colors with just little bits of, you know, like pops of color on it. And so I think this is going to end up looking really nice. Um, let's see. I need, oh, oh I needed that one. Um, there we go. All right. So I needed this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that torch we are going to put there place torch there oh no not there oops <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna end up doing these around here like that and then let's see we're gonna have that there okay that is what we are looking at so let's go ahead and switch back over because in between these we're gonna be doing the dark oak like that and then we're just going to come around just like that. And then we need to figure out our, actually, do you know what? Let's go ahead and do these like that. And then this will end up needing to get changed out to our dark oak as well. I might need, yeah, I might need a little bit more lighting there. I'll have to, I'll have to find out with that. But now what I want to do is, oh, I think I may, I think, oh, yep, yep, okay, I did, I forgot, I forgot these, it's actually going to come in there, because I'm supposed to have a two by two, there we go, not having, not having the carpeting kind of threw me off there, so with these, yep, okay, sweet, there we go, I got it on first try, yay, but yeah, I want the actual, like, the, these ones here. So the lighter circle in the center, because it gives us this really cool shape. And I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. But yeah, you get these little arrows and they look really cool. So yeah, so that is, that kind of gives you an idea of what those are going to end up being. So I'm, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing some carpet. I don't want to make it all into carpets. So I'm just going to do that right there. So this, this is going to be our first floor and I might've made just enough. Sweet. Look at that. And I was just guesstimating. That's awesome. All right. So now I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys what I am going to be doing in terms of how this is going to be decorated, especially on the first floor. And then I'll kind of get to work on, you know, building it up because as there's going to be, there's going to be a lot of repetition in this. Now let's see, we want, let's see, we want the chests, the dark oak stairs. We want the spruce. All right. What did I do? Okay. There's my dark oak trap doors. All right. Um, I think, I think, I think that is all we need. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start on these ones first because these are actually going to be slightly different than the two wide sections. So one, two, three, four. We're going to do that. And then one, two, three, four. And then on this bottom section here, we want to go trapdoor there. And then we're going to go trapdoor there. Trapdoor, trapdoor. And then this is going to need to get changed out to our slab. And then I'm going to switch back over here to the glowstone. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then 
we are actually going to be putting our inventory of stuff in there just like that. And then we're going to have a stair, a stair. And I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get the stuff, uh, you know, the ladders and stuff so we can actually get the tops of these. But then we want to go ahead and go one, two, three, just like that. And then one, two, three. So yeah, so that is, you know, that's going to be the general idea. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pillar up here like this. And we are going to go ahead and set those and then switch over to our stairs because these are going to end up going like that. We're going to come across just like that and then grab our dark oak like that, our stair. And then dark oak, dark oak, dark oak, just like that. And then we could go ahead and grab our bookcases. So yeah, so that's kind of, that's what um, the the three section and then the two is just going to end up having the bookcases. But it's going to create a lot of light because of the glowstone behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the bookcases in place and then um, we'll move on to the other stuff. All right, so I've got the bookcases all in. So I did. I went ahead and did the second layer of bookcases as well, because I mean it's it's the it's the same exact thing. So like I had said, you know the the twos are just the bookcases, and the threes we've got the shelves or not the shelves, but the 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 chest in there. Now this right here, this is temporary. This is just here so that I can actually get up to this layer. Now with this layer, in order to kind of light things up, especially here on the roof, I want to put in a layer of glowstone. So let's go ahead and do that. And so this is going to go all the way around on each side so that we can light up not only the back, which is, you know, which is exposed, but also so that, you know, it's all light up here. Because a lot of times when you end up building away from, you know, away from the light sources and stuff, your ceiling can get really, really dark. And I do not want that to happen, especially with the fact that we are using such dark woods. But I had decided to go ahead and use all of, you know, like the dark woods and stuff because it really created a nice, like, warm, you know, kind of like hug you type feeling to, you know, to the shop and that's, you know, and that's kind of what I wanted from this. So let's see, let's go ahead and do I have, okay, I do have a set of planks. So let's do that. So, uh, oh, and I completely miss it. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, up here. There, whoop, whoop, I'm not in the center. Oh, nope. That is one problem with the scaffolding. There we go. Okay. And so now what we're going to do, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I have enough stairs for this, but we're going to end up coming across just like this. Um, of course we run into the problem. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to hop down here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. These are just a little bit, a little bit too, you know, a little bit too far away for these. And of course, you know, I ended up running out of scaffolding. So that, that definitely did not help matters at all. And I'm going to end up falling through these holes, but let's go ahead and whoop, come across here. In fact, why don't we, we've got, we've got one corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the corner is going to look like. And then we can kind of, you know, I can kind of finish this off camera as this is going to, this is going to take a little bit to to kind of, you know, get put together. Let's see, where are, okay, I don't have too many planks left. So let's go ahead and, did I, oh, I grabbed the terracotta. Silly me. There we go. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going to have the plank in the inside. So let me make sure that, am I, yeah, I'm right above the terracotta. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to do the dark terracotta that, and then we're going to go like that. And so we're going to kind of go around like that. And then we're going to go a single one. And then in the very center here, let's see the, oh, nope, that's center. There we go. Just like that. So we're going to end up having a little cross here. And that is going to be where our little light fixture is going to end up being. And then right here, 
And nope, didn't get it this time. Okay, there, there we go. There, there, and there. Okay. So there we go. So that is what the ceiling is going to end up looking like. And then we're going to have a light fixture that is going to end up coming down here. In fact, we got right there. So we're, there we go. So that kind of works. So, you know, we're, the light fixture is going to be right here. And then, you know, the ceiling is going to be like that on each corner. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and then bring you guys back once I have it all in place. With the ceiling now in place, we can now move on to some of the other details. So that is all done. So let's go ahead and add in our little corner pieces. So we're going to start with grass in each one of the corners here. And then we're going to switch over to the flower pots like so. And then we want to grab our cacti and put those in here just like that and then we want to go ahead and add in some oak leaves in each one of the corners so this is going to give it just a little bit of extra like color and then we're going to use the the dark oak trap doors again on these and we're just going to go around each one of them so it kind of looks more like a planter pot now let's see in the center here I want to, we're going to set these up as temporary blocks so that I can get the stairs to go upside down. So let's go ahead and grab that and like that. And then we can go ahead and grab our slab to kind of create a table here in the center. And then we're going to place a armor stand right there. And then we're going to go with our Enderman head. And then go ahead and get him all dressed up. So he's going to be kind of our receptionist and then that. And then I did realize I didn't bring enough of the flower pots because I actually want to put a flower pot here as well. But that gets that all in place. Now let's go ahead. I'm going to put lecterns down here on the bottom. And then we're going to... Oh, apparently I'm, I'm, I'm clicking a little bit too fast. We're going to put the books on here. Now I haven't, you know, I haven't done anything with these. So if you actually read them, there's, there's nothing, nothing to read. It is more just kind of, you know, kind of an aesthetic thing for right now. I might do like, you know, custom book orders or something on one of them at some point. Now, the last thing that we need to do in terms of, you know, like the decoration is to add in this rail here. That way people don't fall off, you know, fall off the edge. And there we go. So, yeah, so this is, you know, this is what this kind of looks like from, you know, from up here. So you can kind of get, you know, get a pretty good idea of, you know, what is, what is going on. And so that gives us 28 chests that we can end up putting in, you know, all the different enchantments and stuff. Granted, you know, I do run into the problem. I think there's 35 enchantments not counting the curse ones so I'm going to be doubling up some of them like I'm probably going to put like the fishing rod stuff together and the trident stuff and probably the crossbow because those are ones that you know aren't quite used as often and you know and so you know they're they don't need they don't need a chest all to themselves but yeah, so now, now all I need to do is to bring in all of the, you know, all of the books and stuff, put in the pricing for, you know, for each of them, and then we can officially call this open. So I am going to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up, and then we can take one final look once I get everything else in. So all of the books are now in place, and I tried to put them in some kind of order um, but yeah, some, it might, I, it might get a little bit confusing, but I mean, like I was able to get, you know, all the protections here in that section. And then we've got most of the bow ones as well as knockback. And then we've got, you know, some of the sword stuff. So like Bane, sharpness, smite, fire aspect. And then up here we've got the random and, you know, not really random and chance, but so we've got like, this is for the crossbow this is for the fishing rod, and then these are for the, um, oh, yeah, that trident. There we go. 
I'm like that impaling thing. <laughs> you no, know, impaling thing doesn't really work. But yeah, so most, most of the books in here are five diamonds. So I do have these three. So mending, unbreaking, and efficiency are all seven diamonds. And I'll just prices and stuff as, you know, as I go. See how sales and stuff go and all of that. But yeah, so that is all done. And so, so for right now, I am going to call this ye... Oh, okay, do you know what? Hold on. Let's go down one. Ye old bookshop. So I'm going to name it that for right now. If you guys have any ideas or anything like that in terms of a name for the uh, bookshop, I was trying to come up with an alliterative name and uh, I just I just couldn't do it. Um, you know, try to find stuff that, you know, works with like book or tomes or, you know, enchanted or anything like that. Yeah. For some reason, drawing a complete blank. So if you guys have a better better name other than your bookshop, then, you know, let me know down in the comment section. So I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the Mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.